Hello everyone and welcome to Robotech Revolution. So today we are going to learn about a uh, about a project uh, which is related to balloon busting. So in this video, I am going to explain you a project on this PictoBlock app. So here you can see. First, I am going to explain you about this PictoBlock app. So, so if I talk about this PictoBlock app, so here you can see. These are these are our block codings. This block coding, Python coding, customs and sounds are there. Now, if I talk about this, if I talk about the code, so where I can where we can write it the code here we can write the code here. Now, where we can see our code here, we can see our uh, output of the of our code, and where here we can run our code from these two blocks. Now, if I talk about the read window version uh, button, so there, this is our read window button. And here you can see this is our sprite, which we can add from here in this, from this side only, from this button. And we can also add one, like our bread backdrops also from this button, from this icon. And uh, we can write the code in this uh, this output like this display only and uh, uh, yeah so now i'm going to write the code of this uh, picto like uh, this uh, project so first let's change our name of the project so our project name is balloon busting so here is our project name This is our project name. Okay. So. Now I'm going to add one sprite. Now I'm going to delete this Toby sprite. Because uh, in this project, we need one balloon sprite. So as I have told you that, we can choose our sprite from this icon. Now I'm going to add one balloon sprite. Here I got the balloon sprite. I have added it. You can see on this display that I have added the balloon sprite. Now I am I will go to the customs and read this sprites because we don't want these sprites and if i want to add the busting sprites so i will go to this icon choose a costume and search here balloon sprite is our uh, yellow one the second one now i'm going to name this first sprite balloon Just go normal and this balloon underscore burst. We have made the second stride also. Now I'm going to uh, burst this so that our project is okay. Like work on that. Now if I work uh, burst it, now here you can see. I have busted it and now I am going to write the code. So I will copy the code. I don't uh, want to like, uh, uh, I don't uh, want to write the whole code because the video goes long so that uh, I'm just copy the code. I have already written the code. So I'm just copying it. And if you want the code, then I will place that code also on the description of this video okay so now i'm just uh, uh, copy the code and paste it on our display now i'm going to add our coding part so now just i copy the code now here you can see i have copied the code I will uh, copy this code in the description of this video if you want to uh, make this project. So you can also 
make the project on your own. So uh, now I'm going to start the start our project. So if I want to start the project, if we want to start our project, then uh, you can click on this run button. Here I have connected it. Now, here you can see our uh, balloon is going randomly. And if I want to like uh, buzz this, so we just need to click on this and it gets buzzed. Here you can see this is our project, which uh, I have made for you guys. And if you uh, like want to make this project on your own, so I will copy this uh, code in the description of this video. You can also uh, copy this code and make it on your own. I have explained you step by step that how to do this project on your own. Now I'm going to stop this. Now I'm going to explain you the code. Now here you can see I have added a sprite, sprite balloon. Here I have named it as sprite balloon one. Now I have sprite dot show. So in the second line I have written as sprite as show to show this. Now in the third line you can see that it goes to minus 140 and 195 degree like positions. So it will take these positions only. It is taking these positions only. Now in the fifth line, I have written this import time and import random for the our time and random position. Here I have written the void while loop. And in the while loop, I have written this sprite dot cost to balloon normal and sprite dot change y position. As you know that x and y coordinates are there. So x coordinates will run from right to left or left to right. And if you want to change it from top to bottom, so I have, we have to return it as change y. And if you want to uh, change the position from x to y, like from right to left, then so we need to write it as change sprite dot change comma, the uh, sorry, sprite dot change x, so that it can goes from right to left. Now in the 12th uh, line, I have written as weight random dot rand int because uh, uh, in this I have written integers value. Uh, I have taken integers value. It will take from one to three. And then in the 13th line, I have written a sprite go to random. Uh, like have you have seen in the output that it is going in the random position only. So that's I have written it now. In this 14 line, I have given this time weight dot sleep weight. And in the 16 line, I have written if if function and I in in, in if function, I have written spread dot is touching. When I touch this, as you can see on the output also, like as you have seen in the output also, when I am touching this uh when I'm when I touch this balloon, as you can see, if I run this and if I touch this. Uh, from my mouse then it gets worse so that's why i have written it sprite when i touch it from our mouse then sprite gets burst so that's why i have written it line this line only then in this 18 line uh, i have written the time and sprite dot costume to its normal position so that is uh, our code explanation i will uh, you don't need to worry about uh, this code. I will copy this code in the description of this video and you can copy this and make your own project. And here is our project. You can make it on our picto blog browse. Then, yeah, so now if you like the video, then please share it with your friends and please subscribe to this channel in Robotics Revolution. I will upload this kind of videos in the future also. So, if you like my videos and like if it is helpful for you to make these projects in a simple way so please like to my channel and subscribe to it because it needs a lot of time to make these kind of videos so please try to understand and yeah i'm winding up from this today's session thank you